Hello guys, what's going on? Galaxy S3 Modder, I am back with yet another ROM review. Now, I'm here to tell you about the HTC One ROM that I found on uh, a forum in XDA. It's an alpha build, just letting you know beforehand it's not going to work as well as you hope. I couldn't even get the keyboard to work. Like, when you go to type in your, in the setup, and you go like, what's your Wi-Fi? And you hit the little thing, it doesn't even let you do that. So, it will not boot. Well, I'm just letting you know, it takes a long time to boot, too. Right now I'm just wiping my data real fast here, because I think I forgot to do that. Because this is the second time that I'm making this video, and I sat there for like 11 minutes. Alright, wipe data, I just did that. Wipe cache is what I meant to do. Wipe cache. Yes, wipe cache, okay. This is for all of the S3s except for international. It's for all US Galaxy S3s. Proud to be in America. No, I'm just playing with you guys. Or in Canada. You can be on a Canadian model of the S3. What is it? The ATT it has the same uh, code, but it's not. It has like a letter attached to it. I forgot what it was. Yeah, it's for like Sprint. I've Verizon, um, Cricket, and Metro, PCS, and uh, T-Mobile. I think I'm forgetting one. AT&T, did I say AT&T? Oh, I'm not, I'm unsure. I'll just be honest with you. Alright. What you want to do, though, is just booting up. It's gonna, if you guys are interested, go to galaxyS3modder.webs.com galaxyS3modder.webs.com It's my website. It's where you can keep up with all of the current info and to have everything ROM related that I have on my YouTube channel is basically on my website. I, I'm going to be starting a news section on my website that I've had in development that have been... I have to have enough information to put out there for Galaxy S3. And to be honest, Galaxy S3 hasn't really been buzzing lately because of the Galaxy S4. I had not expected to. And what I'm scared of is that developers will stop... Uh, supporting the Galaxy S3, but hopefully they won't, and I pray for that. But, for now, we're looking at this ROM. Now, this ROM has many issues with it. Uh, it, will n it doesn't support your carriers right now. It's for the carriers, but it doesn't support, like, uh, 4G, 4G LTE, or 3G. And you don't get any signal, basically. It's basically you're in airplane mode, except for Wi-Fi. You get your Wi-Fi. But I couldn't even get the keyboard to work, as I said before. So, this ROM is basically just a demonstration of what's to come. You can check this out, though. I think it's an amazing-looking ROM. I would do... I would certainly run this daily if it was stable enough. And if all I needed... I don't even care if it had bugs. All I needed was the keyboard and the... Uh, carrier support, and I would be all over this thing. I swear, I don't care if it's slow, because I could beef it up with some custom kernels and some uh, performance manager. I could overclock it. And that would just make this amazing. Now, the one thing that isn't going to work is the uh, Beats Audio. Beats Audio doesn't work. Oh, here it is, guys. Look at that. Oh, yes. God, I'm in love with this ROM already. Uh, as you can tell, it's a Jelly Bean lock screen. It is 4.1. I'm sorry, guys. You got to deal with that. You're not getting a 4.2 touch or not touch with. Wow, see all these touch with uh, HTC Sense. You are getting the original 4.1.2 ROM. See, so, as yes, you can do, you can slide up, and you go into your. Then you can. I'm gonna just gonna skip this. Right. So here you go, and you try to type in the password. You hit the little thing, nothing comes up. You can't even switch. So, no keyboard. So you can't even type in the, uh, different things. Okay, set time zone. Doesn't even matter. Oh! That was the other phone I'm recording on. Okay. Next. Give a phone a name. Would customize it. No keyboard. Fantastic. Okay, finishing setup. Look at this, you have blink feed. 
Now it's obviously not going to be able to obtain any feed because you don't have any internet. But this is blink feed though. And it, it's going to say updating. This is going to use and give the latest news that matters to you. You can click it. Alright, unable to connect. But basically this is the little uh, thing that you use, service and apps, that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And you will have blink feed with this ROM, which is one of the most amazing features. All right, then you just have your basic little uh, apps and that kind of stuff. You have your calling app. Oh, X is in the corner there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got to work. It's responsive. That's good. So that's responsive. I haven't tested this out yet. Your favorites, your people, your contacts. Okay. Does this work? Okay. Name. Still no freaking keyboard. That upsets me. Alright, let's try... This one, maybe? Still nothing? No. Okay. But still. It's, that's This is an amazing looking ROM. You can tell it's themed in the text message app this works as well like it operates so the camera application it gets to this little screen and then stops screen and if you play with it a little bit you can get it to last a little longer you start doing stuff Dang. All right, I'm sorry guys can't show you that but you do have the uh, settings working things you have what you can toggle airplane mode that kind of stuff you have personalized settings it's basically stock HTC One, but let me just go down to about here. Uh, where would it be? Where would it be? Oh, here we go. Maybe it's in here. It says the HTC Evo 4G. It says. I'm trying to find the um. No oh, software information. Duh. Duh. Sorry guys, but it says HTC Sense version 5.0. Alright, and Android version 4.1.2, right here. I won't let you play with it. Okay, then. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all that's in this ROM right now. I'm sorry to say. I mean, you do have the gallery. I think the gallery works. So I have my photos. That's cool. Okay. You, it views your photos. Oh my gosh. It, okay. It just plays your photos, which is cool. Yeah, that works. Okay. So, I mean, you have things that work. Some things don't work. Such as the things that I just played to you. But, I mean, this... It's going to be... This ROM's going to be big one day. But I just decided to give you guys a little preview. Okay. Now that's pretty much it in this ROM. I'm sorry to say that that's all I can show to you right now. This is not a daily driver. This is a basically a demo of show you what's to come. Alright guys, I hope you appreciated it. I will keep you guys updated uh, all the time on this ROM. If any new if any new features come out or if there's any new builds, I will immediately tell you guys in the description of this video. I'm not going to go and make a new video unless something substantial, such as the camera works or such as carrier support is implemented. Okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed it and... Please like and subscribe, and thank you guys.